this week's portion, Chaye Sarah, which describes the death of Sarah and Abraham's uh, attempt to purchase a burial plot for her, then spends the bulk of the portion describing Abraham's attempt to ensure that a bride, a suitable bride, will be fine for Isaac, and how uh, Abraham's chief servant, Eliezer, is deputized to go to the uh, the other land from which Abraham and Sarah came from, to the land of Haran, where extended family resides. So the bulk of the portion is Eliezer's trip to that land, finding Rebecca and bringing Rebecca back to uh, marry Isaac. It reflects this idea, the finding a bride for Isaac, an idea that all parents have. That is, we want the best for our children. We, when our children are little, we spend a lot of time focusing on ensuring that they are safe, that they are healthy, that we provide for appropriate activities for them, for, their, for the best education for them. And we sometimes forget the bigger picture that we hope and pray that we're instilling appropriate values and ethics and morals in our children as well. So the mundane and everyday habit and routine of raising children might get lost in this bigger picture that we should have, and that is focusing on passing down and instilling values in our children. And so by the, the story of finding a wife for Isaac is really the story of ensuring that the values that Abraham and Sarah learned from God and through their relationship with God would be passed down to Isaac, which might have been threatened by the fact that Abraham took Isaac to Mount Moriah to potentially sacrifice him to God. And this traumatic event could have steered Isaac away from the family. So there was this extra uh, challenge of Abraham ensuring that Isaac be brought back to the fold and that Isaac would maintain the uh, appropriate values in life. That is our goal as parents. It is, a, it is a story that reflects our eternal struggle for parents in every generation, ensuring that our children that we be models of appropriate behavior and that we be appropriate models of living a life of values so that our children would want to do the same thing as well. Shabbat Shalom.